Thank you very much for having me here today. I participated in this uh, conference uh, last year through online, and I felt very lonely being alone in my room, being away from Abu Dhabi. So I'm very, very glad to be here today, finally. And in my maybe about five to seven, seven minutes comment, I'd like to make a two point about the concept of Indo-Pacific. First point is about the three different kinds of concept that, can, that comes in my mind. And then second point is about uh, three different approaches based on three different concepts. So first point, uh, three different kinds of concept. I'm not the expert on the French painting, but uh, I know that there are three categories of painting. One is a portrait painting, portrait. Very, very clear, almost like a photograph, very clear paint. And second one is an impressionist painting. So like a, a Renoir, I hope my, my French pronunciation is not too terrible, but Renoir, like a Manet. And a bit vague paint, vague. And third category is pointillism. Pointillism painting is uh, George, George Sura. Am I correct? <laughs> no, George Sura. So it's, you put a dot on a white canvas, and dot will lead to a very vague paint. So portrait painting, painting and impressionist painting, and pointillism painting. I think these are the concepts, three different kinds of concepts in the Pacific, and I support impressionist concept. Then I will explain it later. So second point is that, then what is a specific approach to in the Pacific based on the different three kinds of concept? Uh, first approach is sharing interest approach. It's almost like putting a dot on the canvas, so it's almost like a Giorgio Sura type of approach. Under this approach, every country can cooperate each other as long as you can share the interest, economic interest or political interest or security interest. You don't care whether they are democracy or autocrat or whatever. So, uh, for example, economic infrastructure project, joint project in several other key area could be a sharing interest project. So under this approach, we cooperate with, for example, China, or in Brunei, Kingdom, or Vietnam, a communist regime. It doesn't matter. So then second level of the approach is impressionist approach. That is maybe, in other words, sharing norms, sharing norm approach. Uh, for example, sharing common norm means rule of law, or freedom of navigation under the UNCLOS, or if it is an economic infrastructure project, maybe sharing no common norm will be uh, transparency, or debt sustainability, or governability, and so on. So sharing norm approach. And then highest level and the most difficult approach is sharing value approach. So under this approach, a like-minded country that can share the value, maybe from the Western point of view, value of the democracy. We'll cooperate each other and then try to promote common value. Um, I think that uh, maybe Biden administration, to some extent, try to adapt sharing value approach. But the weakness of this approach is that you cannot cooperate with a potentially important partner like Vietnam, because Vietnam is not a democracy, and obviously we cannot cooperate with China and the sharing value approach. So I think that the uh, <coughs> best approach for me is sharing norm. Not sh sharing interest approach is good and very comfortable. You can co cooperate with everybody including China, but it doesn't lead, it will lead us to economic prosperity, but it doesn't create any order, just sharing interest. But sharing value approach is 
good, but they also cannot incorporate many countries. So in between, uh, sharing norms, freedom of navigation, rule of law, or transparency of infrastructure projects, sharing norm could be a reasonable approach. And I think that that is the approach I support and also more or less a Japanese government has been trying to promote. Under this, maybe we can also cooperate with China or urge China to uh, accommodate uh, UNCLOS in the South China Sea and so on. So that is my comment. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for your, uh, I think, fundamentally impressionist uh, approach to, to geopolitics. The problem, but maybe we shall discuss that a bit later, is uh, sometimes when a real confrontation comes you know, before us, uh, w we have to make real uh, uh, choices. Right. And uh, so uh, m maybe we, we, we can di discuss this a bit, uh, a bit later.